Hey guys, this is Financial Fitness, and it's 7 in the morning. I just got through eating my egg and oats. And today, I want to show you what to wear. I changed them up a little bit. This is so good. I want you to try it so bad. It's so easy. So this is the container. This is the container. It has these little... I got this at Ollie's. They're not expensive. This thing can spill over in the back of your truck, and it won't get the carpet nasty. That's what's left. That's egg, uh, about five servings of egg whites, two whole eggs, 100 grams of oatmeal, a scoop of protein powder, and three quarters of a cup of milk. I used almond milk. Shake it up, and the secret sauce was PB2. Sprinkle PB2, you can see it on there. See the PB2 sprinkled on top? It's so good, it's hard to only eat half because it's, you know, it's just good food. But see, I ate half, two, probably two and a half hours. I try to go three, that's when you burn the fat. So I just, I just ate, my body's tearing it apart, my blood sugar comes up, and then it's gonna dip down in about an hour, and then I'm gonna burn fat for just a little while. And you're gonna get hungry. When you get hungry, you know you're burning fat. So, and then I'm gonna eat again, and then, then I'm gonna feel good and get a bunch of stuff done, and then, and then I'm gonna be a little bit hungry. That's how you know. So I want y'all to try it. I'm gonna get to work and then I'm gonna pop back on here and we're gonna talk about your social credit score and how awful that's gonna be. I wanna make y'all, I wanna get you to where you're confident and you're welding. You can come out here and pass these x-rays. But if you can get to where you're passing x-rays, people will pay you a bunch of money. Social credit score. This is incredibly tyrannical, combined with a digital dollar. So, I'm gonna put a clip in there because this chick can, can read from a teleprompter and tell you way better than I can. But I'm gonna give you the welder version. So you got a social credit score that's gonna ding you for every time you do anything that is not acceptable to your overlords. It's like, it's kind of like you're in prison, but you're not behind bars. It's like an open air prison. So you gain so many points for what they deem as good, and you get so many points taken away for what they deem is bad. Now I can't imagine who would be in charge. Somebody like AOC or Nancy Pelosi or uh, Joe Biden ain't in charge of nothing. He's just doing whatever they tell him to do. He's worried about his tapioca pudding and <laughs> no telling. He, he's searching for his own Easter eggs. Uh, I'm about to eat my lunch. I hope y'all enjoy this clip. 2014, China unveiled their social credit system, a plan to promote good citizen behavior using incentives and punishing bad citizen behavior using limitations. During the unveiling of the social credit system, the state council stated that the plan would, quote, allow the trustworthy to roam everywhere under heaven while making it hard for the discredited to take a single step, unquote. The system uses points similar to our financial credit score system, but for everyday activities. People can lose points by behaving in a way the government deems unappealing, like littering, paying bills late, drinking too much alcohol, or posting what the government deems to be misinformation online. A person can gain points by helping old ladies walk across the street, exercising daily, and following all government directives. China says the system is meant to promote honesty in government affairs, commercial integrity, social integrity, and judicial credibility. The government monitors citizens to determine their scores through mass data collection, surveillance from their network of hundreds of millions of cameras, citizen observers, these are neighbors hired by the government to report good and bad behavior, agency records and social media activity are some of the ways the government knows whether or not one is a model citizen. Now, everyone in China starts off with a set amount of points and can lose or gain them based on what's deemed good or bad behavior. A high score gives a person extra privileges like free water, free health care checks, lower bank loan rates, and access to community bikes. A low score can limit a person's ability to travel on trains or planes, limit their children from enrolling in certain schools, and can even cost them their jobs. People with low social credit scores are even publicly shamed with their images splashed on screens as warnings to others. I bet I get a billboard. 
Scores can be checked through an app or kiosk set up around the cities. Here's a little video of what the system is like so you, you can get a better idea. Companies are experimenting with the algorithms to help the government create the new national social credit system. The government also has pilot projects. In one, citizens are required to do hours of unpaid work to get benefits. And scores are docked for things like littering, a messy yard, gossip, even jaywalking. Video of offenders is shown on the local news. And information collectors like Joe I. Nee are paid tattletales. Hmm are paid to report on their neighbors. Her quota, 10 entries a month. It's really frightening and dystopian, but let's let's break this down by piece by piece. How far away are we, the citizens of the United States, from China on this? So let's start with the very first thing the Chinese government claimed would be the result of this social credit system, that the trustworthy can roam everywhere while the discredited can't take a single step. Now, countless people have been calling for the government to issue vaccine mandates that would grant cer certain trusted people, those who are vaccinated, access to travel, entertainment, and even jobs in San Francisco and soon in New York City in order to enter a bar, restaurant, or any public place of entertainment, people must show proof of vaccination. Now, with Pfizer's back vaccine being fully FDA approved, scores of people are wanting to see the unvaccinated completely unable to participate in society. Essentially, they want a world where the vaccinated can roam everywhere under heaven while the unvaccinated can't take a single step. And it isn't just the vaccine passports that are marching us towards China's dystopian future. There are rumors that some doctors won't treat patients who are unvaccinated as a matter of principle. They morally oppose their decision and intend to deny medical care because of it. Uh, I've got my own opinion about certain doctors. I learned to search them out and try to find ones that are smart, intelligent, not just the ones that can remember the right answer. I hurt my elbow one time. This is a little quick story. This is the truth, too. I hurt my elbow one time doing some tricep pushdowns. I was going really heavy, and I was tired, and I don't know what happened. It just popped, pow. What I think happened was I broke a bone, bone spur off in my elbow, and it swole up like a big gorder. I mean, it, it was awful. Couldn't move my arm. Went, went to the, I don't remember which what you call it, but uh, he's the one that takes care of elbows. Anyway. I walked in and he said, oh yeah. He immediately, I saw money signs flick up in his eyes and uh, he said, you're gonna have to get that cut out. I said, what, what do you mean? And he was doing everything but sharpening his knife and he was sharpening it in his head. I thought, man, I don't know. I think I should wait a few days. Think we ought to wait, you know, a week or two to see how it works out. Oh, no, 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 sign up. You need to sign up right now. Get on it, you don't think, there's, there's, it's gotta be cut out. And I told him, I said, I'm going to sign up, but if it's better in two weeks, which I think it's going to be, because I'm going to keep working out, keep using it, and I'm going to eat good. He said, well, you can do that. Don't don't work out, though. Don't work out. You'll never be able to do push downs again or bench press or anything like that. So, naturally, I put that to the test. I have zero elbow problems, and I don't have a big gaping scar on my elbow. Now that man wanted to cut me open. That's nuts. Uh, anyway, so be careful of the information that you're getting that is being pushed on you nonstop over and over and over. And it isn't just the fun stuff the unvaccinated will miss out on. Numerous businesses are requiring their employees to be vaccinated or lose their jobs. Universities tell students to do it or miss out on their education. But what is this all based on? Mounting evidence is suggesting the vaccine doesn't stop the spread. So is this really based on science or conformity? Now, like in China, we are witnessing an increasing amount of squelching dissent. Social media companies have taken up the majority of the work, maintaining the official narratives by censoring anything deemed misinformation. And what exactly is misinformation? As we've seen on so many instances of accurate and truthful information being censored, it has become clearer and clearer that what is considered misinformation is just anything that isn't the official policy of the government. Essentially, it is no longer okay to have an opinion, even an expert opinion if you happen to be one, if it goes against the stance of badge carrying officials. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, and I will see you tomorrow.